Welcome to Aqua Research LLC's video on how to operate your stream community system. Today, we will provide you with a short demonstration on how to unpack and to operate your stream. By the end of this video, you will be able to identify the key components of your stream for operation and properly produce your oxidant or disinfectant solution. If you are encountering more specific issues with your stream, need help with cleaning, maintenance, storage, or troubleshooting, please refer to your operation and maintenance manual that came with your system. If your question is still not answered, then our team will be more than happy to assist you personally. Before beginning, please pay attention to the warnings and precautions listed in your manual. Remember, Oxidant Solution is a disinfectant and not drinking water, and therefore should not be consumed without diluting it with water. Remember that aqua research equipment does not make fresh water from salt water, but instead uses salt water to make the oxidant solution. It is critical to use the correct amount of oxidant in the raw water in order to adequately remove any waterborne microorganisms that may cause illness or death. Always be careful with a disinfection site. Improper use or tampering with the disinfectant can result in injury or death. The mixed oxidants collected should also be used as quickly as possible when treating the raw water to gain the maximum benefit in their disinfectant power. Always remember to add acids and bases into the water and not the other way around. And finally, remember to use rubber gloves and safety goggles when working with acids. Your stream produces disinfectant solution by pumping salt water to the electrolytic cell with a small pump. The brine solution is drawn from a separate brine tank, such as a five gallon bucket. The oxidant solution flows from the cell into another holding tank or into the raw water. This system can function on electrical power obtained from a commercial source, a generator, a solar panel, or a car battery with the provided jumper cables. The main components of your system are the aqua research cell, the brine circulating pump, and the power converter. The salts and the containers are not included with your purchase. Pull out the jumper cables and locate the clear tubing. This right tube is the oxidant out, and the left tube is the brine in. Disconnect the tubing by unfastening the left tube. Insert the oxidant out tube into the oxidant tank. Take the loose end of the brine in tube and fasten the filter onto the tubing. Place this filter into the brine tank. To mix the brine solution, refer to the top chart on the lid of the case for the proper salt to water ratio. Typically, for a five gallon bucket, you can put approximately six ounces of salt or 200 milliliters into a 20 liter bucket of water. If your solution is slightly off, the machine will self-adjust by speeding up or slowing down to produce the proper output of oxidant. Make sure that the filter, or the inlet, sinks to the bottom of the bucket, and then you can double check your power connections and your power source before turning it on. Push the start button, wait half a second, and the stream will activate. The cell takes 45 seconds to fill and to begin electrolyzing the brine. After the 45 seconds, you will start to notice that the amperage may slow down or speed up and oxidant will be pushed through the outlet tubing. To turn off your stream, simply push the button again. 
Thank you for watching this demo and for being a part of the vision at Aqua Research to bring safe water to those who need it most.